Today I want to show you how to reduce the number of steps in simulation nodes. For example, to create the particles every frame. So let's see. So let's create really fast a simple particle emitter in geometry nodes using simulation zone. Let's delete this, bring a simulation zone, connect it here, and let's add a bunch of points in the middle of this process with join geometry and let's use points. And let's create here, and let's create an initial velocity because now we have all the points in the middle. So let's use a store name attribute to create a vector. Let's select a vector, and let's use random value. And let's select all directions. So minus one and one. If you want, we can add here a vector math and a scale to reduce or increase this vector later. Let's call this velocity. And really important, let's change the seat with the same time every frame. Okay, now we have the initial velocity. So we have this vector, and let's use it with set position, like always, the simplest particle meter. So we have this, now let's use name attribute. Let's call this attribute. Control C, Control B, and connect it here. And if we press play, we have this. A simple particle meter, right? And now with the scale, we can reduce this velocity. Okay, so what's the problem? The problem is that when we use simulation nodes, every frame is creating one particle, as you can see here in the spreadsheet, right? You can see that at the frame 47, we have 47 particles. And maybe I don't want so many particles. You know, I want less particles. So how I can do that? Because it's adding one particle every frame. So the trick to do this is to go before here, because this is the geometry we are adding, and use switch. And let's create it here. So we want to create a rule, a condition, and say, only use these points if something happens. And what we're going to do is to use a sin time. So, now what we do, if we run this here, nothing happens. Because what we have to do is to use a simple math and select, really important, modulo. This one, this one, this one works. So, this one, how it works. We are going to use frame. And we're going to this here and this here. So basically, this is really simple. If you select one, basically, you're saying that it's the same. So, Every frame is going to create one particle. As you can see right now, if I stop this, you can see we have the same number of particles. However, if you want, for example, mm, I want one particle every 10 frames, then here you select 10. And now if we start again, every 10 frames, we're going to have one particle. As you can see, if I stop here before 80, we have seven particles in 78 frames. So you get the idea. If you want, for example, every, I don't know, 30 frames, you have less and less particles. So that's how you create less particles, but with the same velocity. For example, what you can do is to add more particles, like a pulsar. For example, I'm going to select 30. So now every time it's going to create points, it's going to create 30 at the same time. For example, every 30 frames. So if we press play, we have this, as you can see. I can reduce the frequency, for example, 10, or 1 is the same, and will be crazy. So you get the idea. If you increase this, you are going to reduce the steps of these points that has been at here. It's as simple as this. So remember this trick. For example, if you want to add points every second, what you can do, if you know your frame rate, so right now is 24, we can select 24 frames. That means that every second is going to add points, as you can see. So I hope you learned something new. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and remember you can follow me and don't let this project anymore on my pattern. And see you in the next video.